and I'm glad to have you back. In this section, we're going to look at the G Develop User Interface. This is where you can have access to your game scene access, change things like your start screen, add extensions from users, and have access to assets. So the first thing you'll do is to have the you'll actually see this home screen when you open up the project. To create a new project from scratch, you click on these three horizontal lines and go to File and click on Go to Create, and you can see a new empty project. So when you create a new project, you actually see you have the untitled scene and untitled event. The scene is where you have access to all your game objects, like your sound, audio, your sprites, and your background. And your event is where you're going to give life to your scene, to your game objects. If you press the mouse button, you want your player to jump, etc. So let's go ahead and actually see more of these options here. So this is the menu bar, and this is a standard menu bar. In We've seen this in lots of applications. You can have your file, edit, you can change your view. You can go to your window view and you can open up the help site where you can have access to YouTube tutorials, to the Facebook and Instagram pages of GDevelop as well. So next, we actually have the project manager. If we click on the project manager, we can change things like our game settings. If I click on the properties right now, we can change the name of that project. We can describe, add a description for the game, put our auto titles and our names, change the Android packaging system, change our resolution and reg uh, rendering. We can change the uh, window size, whether it's a landscape or portrait, set things like the frames per second. And then we can, what we can do is to set the file type. I'll advise you to use uh, multiple files. That way you can have things like your images, your sound, you know, your backgrounds all separated, but close to the main G develop file. So we're going to be looking at this in more detail right here. If I click on this, this is our global uh, variables and you can have access to this even if you have multiple scenes within your project. We also have extensions, which are user defined programs that you can actually use within your project. Think of them as shortcut, you know, uh, shortcut actions or shortcut events, which could apply to your game objects. And external layouts allow you to export a scene that can be accessed in various sections of your project in case you have multiple scenes. Speaking about scenes, if we go over to our scene section right here, we can add a new scene to our project, or we can rename and change or edit our scenes and set our scene as a start scene. Once I set this as start scene, we can actually see that flag right there. So that's something to note. It's a little hidden menu, but very powerful. And you can even do more things like change your, uh, if we go to properties, you can change things like the loading screen, change the background image. You can change things like the theme. You can do a lot of things right here in our uh, settings. So let's go ahead and close on that. Here we can actually see the project manager, which we actually opened up uh, right now and we checked our project as well. In our preview, if we click on our preview, this will give us a preview of our game scene. Right now it's empty, so we're just seeing uh, this section right here. This is what we're seeing. Right here, this is our scene area or our stage area. And it's a visual area where you can see every game object you created in your scene. You can close the menus by clicking on the X, like so, to close and hide every menu so you can have a nice workspace. If you want to zoom in and out, you can use the scroll wheel just to zoom in and zoom out as well. You can press and hold the middle mouse button, and then you can use that to pan left and right. If you want to have your menus that you've closed back, here we have our objects panel. We have our grouped objects panel, which is for a group of similar objects. For instance, if you have 10 enemies in the game, you can add a new group and call them enemies. And if you want your player to affect each of these enemies, you could just do it here directly. So let's go ahead and close the objects group. Here we have our properties panel. This shows the properties of an object. We don't have any object in the scene, so it's not showing us the properties, but basically you could have the width height, size, the name, uh, parameters you have associated with an object. Next, we have that instance list. If you have an object and you bring your object live in the scene, it becomes an instance of that object. And you can see them down here as the instance list right here. Next, we actually have our layers panel where you can group things and stack them into layers, into background layers, for instance, or you can set this as a UI layer as well. Next, we have our grid. You can enable and show the grid, 
or you can set up the grid and change some properties of the grid. For instance, if I want this to be a nice pale blue, I'll just set that and click apply and we can actually see we have a pale blue grid right here. And next we also have the zoom settings. You can zoom in and zoom out and you can zoom to fit to content in your screen in case you have that, but I just like using the middle mouse button. Now here we have the settings for our scene. So we can change the windows title. We can tell it to disable music instead of, and then we can do things like edit our scene variables, which will only be available for our scenes. So uh, that's a very quick wrap up of uh, G develop interface and hopefully I'll see you guys in the next lesson and this is not where we will finally see the interface as we move along in the course we'll be looking at the interface and applying what we've learned so take a little second play around with GDevelop look at the interface change some things change your UI theme you know kind of like look at uh, what you can actually do and finally before we close I just want to show you that you can actually publish your game you can generate a link to your phone or you can export to other pl pl uh, platforms like the web browser mobile or your desktop systems so you actually use that to um, build your game when you're done so uh, hopefully that's giving you an idea of the interface and to remember that these actually have a lot of uh, hidden menus this is where you can actually have those hidden menus you can open up a project and whatnot we can also look at uh, preferences where we can change things like our theme. So if I wanted this to be a uh, dark theme, we can actually see that dark theme like so. But in this course, I'll be using the light theme because it's actually uh, better to see with the uh, light scene than using the dark, but you can actually use the dark theme when you're working to be easy on your eyes. Thanks for watching.